Today is International Women's Day. That's why it's only fitting we start this day by introducing our remarkable women finalists right from the Houston area. We're starting with this amazing person. While most people know about the first African-American woman to travel into space, many don't know that an African-American woman suited her up. That was Sharon McDougall, who is now being regarded as a modern-day hidden figure who continues to break down walls for others to walk through. Sharon McDougall has had many accomplishments in her life. In the Air Force, I only heard of one other woman being in my career field before I got to my base, one other black woman. So I was the second, I'm assuming, because I never heard of anybody else. But another young lady came after me, and more came after I left, of course. But I was the second there. And none of what she has done has been easy. My childhood wasn't ideal. And I didn't have a lot of, I wasn't exposed to a lot of things. That's why she's always made it her mission to break barriers. Sharon grew up in Moss Point, Mississippi, and when she graduated from high school in 1982, immediately joined the Air Force. And that's where I got my training to work on the pressure suits. I okay. suited up the SR-71 and U-2 pilots in the Air Force. That seven plus years of training would open up a door she could never have imagined. After getting out of the service, a friend told her about an opportunity with NASA. And they're like, come out whenever you're ready. So I packed up my stuff like the Beverly Hills business <laughs> <laughs> and moved to Texas. <laughs> and her new job would make her become a part of history that many don't know about until now. I used to suit up the astronauts that flew aboard the space shuttle in their pretty orange launch entry suits. <laughs> and so I got here, and of course, I was the first black person, period, in that department. And uh, I hit the floor running, though, because that's what I did in the Air Force. The same suit, same everything. It was a few little whispers and stuff, because, like I said, I looked like I was probably about 15. I looked really young. <laughs> and to be already experienced and coming in there like gangbusters, like I own the place, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not shy at all. Mm -hmm. So that was some growing pains for me, but the job itself, like what, what did it say? Just like breathing, drinking mm -hmm. water, I and mean, then I can do it in my sleep. And as the first black space shuttle crew escape equipment or CEE suit tech, the first black and first woman CEE crew chief, and first and only black manager of the department, that expertise led her to work with some of the most renowned astronauts in the world and make history again. My most memorable moment to me was I got here in 1990. Dr. Mae Jemison got assigned to her flight in 91. I got here just in time. <laughs> she got assigned to her mission in 1991, and I assigned myself to her. That meant the first black person ever assigned to train astronauts and teach them how to suit up their pressure suits was now assigned to the first black woman who would go into outer space. Ironically, originally, it wasn't planned that way. I've only been here a year. My supervisor writes all the names of the astronauts on the board, and we're all sitting around waiting to see, and I had already heard the first black woman was gonna be going. And so as soon as he wrote her name up there, I took the marker, wrote my name there. <laughs> and then I was like, after I did it, I was like, I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> but she wasn't. The two of them thrived and made history as first in their individual fields. And so that's how it started. And she and I had a great relationship while we worked together. She was amazing. McDougal worked for 22 years with the space shuttle program. And it was these moments that would continue to motivate McDougal to this day. That's why she also volunteers by helping others with kids meals, the community garden, and helping the homeless with the group Unveiled Aspirations, and so much more. And like I say, you never know what one person, cliche again, that you might touch or impact on that time that you're volunteering. I try to do something every, every weekend, if not every other weekend. It makes me feel so good to do it, to help somebody else. Service is the rent we pay for the time we have here on this earth. I saw that quote and I was like, that's me, because I, I really feel that way. She also has a children's book called Suit Up for Launch with Shay, about a mom and her daughter playing dress up as an astronaut. And so her mom, of course, being a former suit tech. <laughs> well, before you dress up in that suit, I gotta tell you all about it. And she does it all to inspire the next generation. It's very educational, but like I said, where you can understand it. Just like this, it's the same questions the kids used to ask when I would go talk to them at the schools and things, or the questions I would ask them to get them engaged. So it's pretty much the same thing, just in a mother-daughter conversation. It's super cute. And McDougal says she has so much more to do. That's why she stands as not just a remarkable woman, but also another hidden figure whose story continues being told. So I'm very proud that I was able to accomplish everything. I ended up being the manager of my department, and I accomplished all of that from hard work, doing the right thing, showing up and showing out, and I made it all the way to the top of my career before the space shuttle retired. And no matter what you look like, no matter what your background is, you can do it. You can do it. The opportunities are there for everybody. There's space for everyone. 
in Houston, Sharon Melton for Remarkable Women.